YouTube. Uh, this is David, and uh, you're on Electrica. Uh, now, the today's topic. Uh, I was uh, there is a friend of mine that uh, really asked me to talk about this. Now, what I'm talking about here is uh, power distribution. Uh, <coughs> I know you might be there. Uh, maybe many people might be having the idea, but there are others who don't really have an idea. Perhaps this video is for you. Now, I'm simply talking about power distribution within your home, uh, in your residential or in, in a factory or a mini factory, something like that. Uh, <coughs> what happens is between the supply transformer and your ins installation. Your installation should be a mini factory, it should be a factory, or simply your home. Uh, now, uh, first of all, let's look at uh, the transformer. Let's look at the transformer, the supply transformer. Uh, in your residential uh, installation, uh, perhaps you've seen a transformer uh, somewhere near the road or uh, exactly on your house. Uh, normally, uh, factories, because they use a lot of power, sometimes they are given transformer <coughs> of their own. But in, in, uh, in the people who are using low power or consumes low power, they always share transformer. You may find even a whole village or a small lot of a town share a transformer. Okay, now what happened? Now, from the transformer, let's take an example of this transformer of 33kV that it's probably outside your installation or outside your house. Now, when you go to your utility company to, to request for a power connection, the number of questions that you're going to ask you probably they will give you a form that you're supposed to fill and that form will uh, will comprise uh, some things like uh, how much power you're going to need of course they will, they will not ask you that question directly but you're going to answer questions like uh, what some of our appliances you're going to use do you have any three-phase appliance in your installation are you planning to use heating helmets uh, are you trying how many light bulbs are you going to be using in your installation how many sockets you know such kind of stuff so that gives them um, a sneak preview of your installation so they based on, on that small information that you're going to provide in that form <coughs> to give you to determine the cable the supply cable uh, the solid cable the cable that runs from that transformer or from that pole to your premises that's the utility company that will do that job now from there uh, your inst your installer or the technician or an engineer that is <coughs> doing the installation at your premises now will come in from there now the, that person will need to do some bit of calculation now the same information that you, you give uh, your utility company you the same information you're going to give to this person but this time it will be more detailed because normally uh, power installation can be really expensive if it's there is too much exaggeration you know so sometimes you installer will ask you to be precise then you'll be asking you so you're going to tell them the exact number of light that you need uh, you have a five bedroom house <coughs> which kind of light you're going to be using in there how many circuit lights you need eh? how many sockets uh, you need a double socket outlet and at what amps then we go to your kitchen then we look at your kitchen and uh, in your kitchen oh, what appliances are you going to use do you have a cooker do you have these rice cookers all these small small things or sandwich maker or you have a coffee machine you need to take all those small small details you have a washing machine you have a pump at home <coughs> excuse me yeah so all those small small uh, details you have to avail them to your installer such that they can see it and know how many circuits you're going to your, your installation will comprise and how many uh, consumer in it how many way ways in a consumer unit that will suit the installation so all the information that you give to your installer uh he will base on that to uh to do the calculations such that he come up with the load cable now we all know that in in installation it, uh, in most cases we use two types of cables 
uh, and when I'm saying types, I mean uh, in the thickness. So first, we'll, for sockets, we always use 2.5 with earth, twin with earth. So that 2.5 will be supplying all the sockets in your installation, uh, uh, except uh, the cooker socket that will, will vary. Now, <clears throat> you also have lights that you will take 2.5 twin with earth. Those are two types of cable. But then after doing all those calculations, now you're going to come up with what we call the load cable. Now, this load cable is the one that uh, bears all the burden, all the burden of those circuits. So you need to uh, size it very carefully. If you undersize it, then you'll have problems of breaker tripping, of cable burning, you know, kind of stuff. So your installer will use the information and then come up with a load cable. Now, the load cable is the cable between uh, your meter box or your metering area to your consumer unit that small cable sometimes that cable is recommended not to be more than uh, 10 meters but uh, it's really hard to be more than 10 meters because most people they are consuming they keep it very close to their metering point so you find that if it goes further maybe it will go for five meters but others can even be two meters so the shorter the cable uh, the better so that cable uh, will carry all the load now after calculating the total load you might be having maybe you have like 100 amps so now the total load that i've calculated it has given us the load cable it has given us the size of the consumer unit uh the rating of the consumer unit you see that <coughs> uh such that uh, when you're utilizing actually also they put some allowances in that because we know that in the future you might you might want add on such kind of things <clears throat> for example most of the people who build mansions uh, they always have parties in their mansions they have in-house parties and uh, uh, definitely you're going to have a public address system uh, that will probably need some many watts of power so you have to put all that in consideration so if your installer is doing the calculations you must tell them all that you understand uh, so when you do everything will be there so even if you bring an extra load next time it will just be within the the holding capacity of the load cable and the size of your consumer unit yes yeah, simply uh that that's what happens uh so if you have any type of question that you have please pin it in the comment below uh and then maybe probably I'll, uh, I'll, I'll pin it. So just write it in the comment below if you have a specific question you can ask because more videos are coming. I also want to thank you for subscribing to my channel. Uh, I'm only short of one person to hit 100 subscribers, which is very much unique to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, please give me a like, give me a thumbs up on this video, even if it's a thumbs down, it's also, yeah, it's also an engagement. So thank you very much and God bless and big up.